friends, welcome back to Blue Mo Home and Garden, and I'm so glad to have you. If you are new, please take a moment to say hi down in the comments so I can say hi back. And now is a great time, guys, to hit that red subscribe button and become a subscriber. When you do that, a little bell will come up next to it. That is the notification bell. If you click that also, it will notify you when I post new content, so you will be the first to see it and you won't miss anything that I post. Please give this video a like. It really helps my channel to grow and I really appreciate all of my subscribers and those who give me likes. So thank you for that. Well, today promises to be a fun day. I am dressed, I'm ready to go. We are taking a road trip to Central Ohio. Central Ohio is the location for Lehman's Country Store. Give me a comment down below or a thumbs up if you have visited Lehman's before or if you are familiar with them. They are a store that caters to homesteading, life off-grid, and all of those farming, homesteading needs, uh, camping, all kinds of great things. I've been a customer for years and years. I get their catalog, but I've always wanted to go. In fact, it was definitely on my to-do list for this summer. And then a couple of days ago, I got a notification from Jill Winger from the Prairie Homestead. Jill is a blogger and she is a homestead mentor. So she does a lot of tutorials and things to help people become homesteaders. She is a great teacher. She is so sweet. I really like her a lot. And she is going to be there today. She is going to be there doing demonstrations on canning, both pressure and water bathing. And she is going to be doing a demonstration on starting your own sourdough starter. And that is what I am going for. I am going to learn all about sourdough starters. I've been wanting to do this for a long while now. To have that sourdough starter sitting on my kitchen counter is super exciting. And I think I have a lot to learn because back in the day, I don't know if it still goes around now, I've not been notified. No one's knocked on my door to give it to me, thank goodness. But back in the day, my girlfriends and I always shared the friendship bread, the Amish friendship bread. That sat in a baggie on your kitchen counter and you added sugar and flour and you took some out and you added, and day one you did this, and day three you did this, and day six you did this. And I would easily get confused and not know what day it was on. Am I kneading, am I adding, am I subtracting? Thank goodness those recipes were very forgiving and I never knew if I had done it right, but the bread always turned out delicious. I miss that bread, but I don't miss getting everyone giving me bags. And I, one time I had seven bags on my kitchen counter, nobody else to share it with. And I ended up baking that off. And then you know what? Somebody else showed up with a bag. And you know what? I didn't, I didn't do it. I just tossed it. <laughs> because I had just done it for so long and um, it was a great cinnamon kind of coffee bread and it was great. I'm hoping that this sourdough starter isn't like that and I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm sure it's different but just to have that beautiful jar of sourdough sitting on the kitchen counter is great. I'm looking so forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing, touching, feeling all of the environment and atmosphere at Lehman's. I'm super excited to be able to visit the store. So with that being said, it's get in the car, get rolling for this fun-filled day. I love a good road trip guys and this is going to be a good one. Lehman's is about three and a half to four hours away from us and it is a beautiful day for a drive and we don't travel the freeway most of the time. If we have somewhere we're going we just leave extra early and take the scenic route. We love looking at the farms and the old barns and 
just all the natural beauty and the slower pace of traveling and, and drinking it all in and seeing the unique things along the way. Um, you know, there's so many great things between point A and point B. I mean, the freeway is great if you have to get on the freeway and get somewhere in a hurry. Uh, we have done that before, but most of the time, this is how we travel. We take the back route. And Ohio is a beautiful state. I've traveled Ohio a few times. And uh, if you are from or have traveled through Ohio, leave me a comment. Let me know where you're from if you are from Ohio. And uh, we possibly do a meetup. That would be great. And so um, grab your cup of tea, uh, something cold to drink, and follow along as we make our way down to Ohio. and unique things about Lehman's is that it is the major portion of the store is in an 1840s barn and it is just beautiful there are so many unique things hidden everywhere that you have to look at the barn also serves as a museum there are so many neat things and I'll try to touch on a few of them tucked away in special places one of the things I loved was their stove display I would so love this stove would you not love to cook on this thing especially in the winter time this stove is cute and I love that name pioneer princess that is such a cute name um what a great stove I also liked how for many of their displays they, you know they try to make them look as they would be in your home so you get an idea of how things look and I really like that and if you look over here and look at all this pottery where I just loved this store. It was just so amazing. I wanted everything. There are just so many great things for homesteading and living the simple life and cooking. Just amazing. I loved it. They had a great assortment of cast ironware and everything you need to cook. I love wooden spoons and I couldn't wait to pick up some of these also to put in our camper um, I didn't have any other camper so these wooden spoons are just amazing I love to cook with them here's one of those areas that get there all these washing machines from history and I'm wondering who of you have ever operated or seen your grandparents operate one of those washboards you've got glass you've got metal look at all these drying racks to choose from and I don't know if I mentioned it before but I will mention it again anything that you see here that I'm showing you at the store is in their catalog or on their website which again I will link down below so that you can get acquainted with them if you are not already acquainted with, with Lehman's and see all the things that they have to offer and find whatever you may be looking for like these I definitely have to pick up a couple of them because we do lose power. They are so nice to have around and they will fit very nicely in our 1860 work market. Books, guys, books. Books, what do you want a subject on? They had so many books. There was gardening and building and drying food and root cellars and just so many topics for simple heritage living. And they had these shelves and shelves and shelves of puzzles. But I mean, if you are living off grid or, you know, out in the country, there always isn't a lot to do. And puzzles are the greatest. I know these puzzles made me think of wintertime. We always have a puzzle going at wintertime. You 
people come over, they sit down, they grab a cup of tea, and people just start gathering around the puzzle, and sooner than later, we're all putting the puzzle together. It's just great. And so there were some great puzzles here. I just thought of how many gifts these would make great gifts, and just all the different subjects of puzzles they had. They had animals, farms, they had kittens and dogs and motorcycles and something for everyone. I loved this camping display and I thought this would be great if you are just getting off grid this would be a great setup. I love their little medicine cabinet and all their amazing things. So that's it for the Lehman store. It was time to head over and the Jill. Now they have a big classroom, a big building in the back where they have all their classrooms. And Jill was such a great interpreter of how to start your dough. It was great. She made it look very simple, so simple. She had a volunteer come up from the audience and that's it. He was able, he's never made it before, so he was able to put it together and she went through everything. She was so thorough in explaining what to look for, the smell, the texture, to the bubbles, and what if it doesn't bubble, and how to feed it, when to feed it, how to take out the discard, because you will be taking some things out and discarding it, and what you can do with the discard. It was just a great time. We had time to chat a little bit, and we talked about gardening, we talked about fermenting and she answered all my questions about sourdough because I had a lot and um, again we just talked about our gardens and what a challenging year it's been now Jill it's from Wyoming so it's different there she talked about how different it was and they had a very late spring they had a blizzard when we were getting warm and so that delayed their growing season and then just recently they had a heavy storm come through with lots of hail and it just kind of ruined everything in her garden and just how challenging it is to have a YouTube channel and a blog focused around gardening at this time of the year and the crops are just ruined and so she's doing that and she just um, published her cookbook and so um, she was doing a signing here also for her cookbook. So that was great that she is doing so well with that. And so we took a few pictures and had a good time. I really enjoyed meeting Jill. And again, I will link her blog down below so that you can go visit her and say hi. And then while we were driving the whole time, we kept seeing these signs for trail baloney or bologna, however you say it, trail bologna, and fry pies. And so on our way home, of course, our curiosity got the, the better of us. We had to stop and check it out. And so trail bologna is just a ring of bologna, and it just has three ingredients, beef, water, and spices. The fry pie is just a pie, and it's delicious, and it has a cream center, very rich. And so how cool is that? It has such an amazing culture difference just a short distance from where we live. I thought that was really cool. So I hope everyone gets a chance to get out to Lehman's. Please like and subscribe.